Hey Holland Middle, I'm Ava Britt. And I'm Julia Soyala. Today is Monday, May 6th, and this is HMS, HMS News. The annual district art award were recently given for 2018 through 2019 school year. Congratulations to 6th grader Charlie Defoe, 7th grader Trey Delaney, and 8th grader Jack Voss. Their artwork was professionally framed and will be showcased in the district administration building for the following school year and then returned to each of them. Two weeks ago, we shared choir options for Holland High students. This week, Ms. Vanoss has information for kids who are interested in being part of the band program. Let's see what she has to say. Hi, I'm Bethany Van Noss, and I'm the band director for Holland High School as well as the Holland Middle School 8th grade band. There are a lot of opportunities for 8th graders going into high school band, such as the concert band, which most underclassmen are in. And then we also have, for anybody who's a percussionist, we have our percussion ensemble as well as our marching band for everybody and also the uh, Holland High Wind Ensemble which is made up of mostly upperclassmen but also some lower classmen and that is an auditioned only ensemble so that is, uh, that, that is made up of the best players in the Holland High School band program. Um, we also do a lot of things outside of the school day. Marching band is one of those outside of the school day. We will rehearse every Sunday from 2 to 4.30 um, during marching season. And we also do some marching competitions during marching season. And then when we move into concert season, uh, we do some competitions for that as well. And of course, the Holland bands are famous for uh, doing tiptoe through the tulips during tulip time and thousands of people from all over the world come to see us do that in our wooden shoes and it's a big, big, big deal. Um, for band, the prerequisite for high school band is that you have already uh, done band in middle school. So even um, if you are uh, maybe playing an instrument on the side but you haven't ever been in band before in middle school, as long as you can play an instrument well, Another great part of the Holland High School band program that we have is our Holland High School Jazz Band, and that meets during zero hour at the high school starting at 6.45 in the morning. That might seem like it's a really early time, but in fact, Jazz Band is one of my favorite parts of the day because it really wakes you up, and even if you're very, very tired and you're not a morning person like I am, um, you will be happy and uh, you will be awake after you participate in Jazz Band. Um, and that runs three days a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so you get to sleep in Monday and Friday, so it's not so bad. Um, and we do a lot of gigs around town, and we also um, help the school out by playing at things such as Honors Convocation, and uh, we also play in our band concerts. The last thing I want to mention is that we need some Color Guard members, some new Color Guard members uh, for the Holland High School Marching Band. Uh, those are the individuals that twirl and throw and toss flags um, in the marching band shows and if you are so inclined and you feel like that might be fun, um, we do have a pretty intensive summer schedule as far as the marching band goes, but if you are interested in doing that, uh, you don't have to be in band already and the auditions for that are Wednesday, May 22nd. Uh, in the Holland High School band room from 6.30 to 9 p.m. So we hope to see you there. And uh, we're very excited to get some new band members up at Holland High. Uh, so we hope you can join us, whether it's jazz band, whether it is marching band, whether it's concert band, jazz band. Um, we hope to see you. Thank you so much. With tulip time just around the corner, Libby and Lily went downtown to visit one of Holland's oldest businesses. Here's a closer look at the Holland Peanut Store. Hi, HMS. I'm Libby LeFaber, and I'm here with Tom Fabiano, and we are here at the Peanut Store. Can you explain to us the history of the store? Yes. In um, 1902, my great-grandpa and grandpa came, well, before 1902, late 1800s, they came from Italy to the Pennsylvania, um, Lancaster area, and then they heard about a really great Dutch reformed town with a lot of morals, a lot of uh, Christianity, and a lot of uh, great place to open up a business. Uh, so they came and brought their family over here, 
and they started Fabiano's. We were called Fabiano's back in 1902. What are some of your best sellers at the store? Um, the number one seller is Double Dip Milk Chocolate Peanuts, but then it's all our homemade pecan turtles and our homemade nut clusters, pecan almond. What are some of the busiest times of the year? Um, well, if you look at start with the calendar in January, January is our slowest month of the year. February for the week or 10 days leading up to Valentine's, we sell a lot of chocolates. Depends where Easter falls, March or April, we're very busy for the week or two leading up to Easter. And of course, tulip time will be busy if the weather cooperates. Um, and of course, Christmas is our biggest, uh, November, December. Um, that, that is our busiest time of the year. Um, Why do you think you guys have been in business for so long? Um, I think we do things the right way. I think my great grandparents and grandparents and my parents have always taught me treat others as you like to be treated. Uh, we, we give them a fresh product, we always say hello, and we I think our personalities sell our place. Um, we always say have a great day. What do you guys look for in, in employees? We look for their presentation of themselves, how they look at us, how they dress. Over the years we've had 30 employees outside the family and 28 of them are from the Holland Public Schools, so you got a really good shot if you go to Holland Public. Um, uh, so, and that's who we know because we're all Southsiders. I think what, when you work here, what you learn is that this is a family. Um, we're very, very, very good to our staff, but our staff is very, very, very good to us. Don't forget that we have half days on Wednesday and Thursday for tulip time. On Wednesday we will have first through fourth hour classes and on Thursday we will have fifth through seventh. School and both days at 1035. Cora and Ava spent time downtown this week in previewing places to go during tulip time. Let's see what they found. Hey HMS, I'm Cora and me and my friend Ava are going to be giving you a pre-show of tulip time. Let's go! First, we're stopping at Orange Leaf. Next, we're stopping at Cherry Republic. Get ready, because the food's going to be open soon. And now we're taste testing. Here's a look at this week's sports schedule. On Monday, the soccer team travels to Jenison. Seventh grade starts at four o'clock and the eighth grade game follows at 5.30. The track team also is on the road with four o'clock meet at Fruitport. On Tuesday, the soccer teams are at home taking on Byron Center West. Seventh starts at four o'clock and the eighth grade game follows at 5.30. Also on Tuesday, the tennis team is on the road with a four o'clock match at West Ottawa. And finally on Thursday, the boys tennis team has a four o'clock match against White Pines here at HMS. Good luck to all of our teams and go Dutch. Hey Jolies, if you could spend the day with a celebrity, who would it be? The Dolan Twins. And you? Zach Efron. Let's see what others have to say. See you next time on HMS News. If you could um, like hang out with any celebrity for a day, like who would you hang out with? <laughs> uh, Nicki Minaj. If I could hang out with any celebrity for a day, that is a really tough question because I would like to hang out with all the people who play in the Avengers, but I think Robert Downey Jr. the most. If you could hang out with any celebrity for a day, who would it be? Uh, Rihanna. Cause Rihanna the best. She's the best. I don't care what nobody say. Rihanna the best. <laughs> If you could hang out with any celebrity for a day, who would you hang out with? Justin Bieber. Um, XX Tentacion. Billy Eilish. Billy Eilish. Anybody else? If you could hang out with any celebrity for a day, who would you hang out with? Amy Young Boy, period. If you could hang out with any celebrity for a day, who would it be? Audrey Hepburn. In sports this week, 
Hey guys, I have to ask you an important question. We're, we're kind of busy right now. Okay, um, anyways, if you guys can be any celebrity for a Um, I'd say Marina. Um, I think I'd choose Billie Eilish. Okay, thank you. Thank you.